For this video, we are going to answer Quizzer 4-1, Chapter 4, Learning the Basics of Accounting by Rafael M. Lopez, 2020-2021. This Quizzer is all about normal balances of accounts. On the space provided, put an X to accounts whose normal balances are debits. So these are the given accounts, Jofel Tamala Capital, Depreciation Expense, unused supplies, notes receivable, utilities expense, accrued salaries expense, prepaid insurance, accumulated depreciation, building, uncollectable accounts, interest expense, transportation equipment, Jofel Tamala drawing, accrued interest income, cash in bank, and prepaid insurance. Before we answer this problem, let us first define normal balances together with the term debits and credits. But before we further continue, let us first try to lay down the foundation about misconceptions about the term debits and credits. First, debits and credits are neither good nor bad. Second, debits and credits are not the same as adding or subtracting. So what do we really mean by the term debits and credits? Debits are simply the value that we have received, while credits are simply the value that we have parted with. This is according to double entry system, which means that for every transaction, there are at least two accounts affected. That is, every time we receive something, we also give up something. Let us take a look for this example. A business bought a cell phone for 10,000 cash. So the thing that we have received is the cell phone, which is worth 10,000. And the thing that we have given up is cash worth 10,000. And that is according to double entry system. That every time we receive something, in this case, cell phone, we give up something, in this situation, cash. Now. What do we mean by the term normal balance? Normal balance is simply the expected balance that an account should have. That is, it's either debit or credit. Let's take a look for this example. Let us just say an owner invested 100,000 in a business. So the business will receive what? Cash worth 100,000 in exchange of what? Capital which is worth 100,000. Now in the second transaction, what if the business decides that out of the cash, it will purchase an inventory? So the business will receive inventory worth 80,000 and to get the inventory, it needs to give up a cash of 80,000. Now let's try to take a look on the summary on the cash account. On the cash account, on the first transaction, we have debited 100,000. That means the business have received 100,000. And in the second transaction, we purchase an inventory worth 80,000. So that means the business have given up 80,000 cash. All in all, we have a net cash remaining as 20,000. So we have a 20,000 debit balance. Now, what if what happens is the opposite? The owner invested 80,000 cash. So that is in the first transaction, instead of debiting 100, we debit cash 80 and capital 80. In the second transaction, what if we purchase an inventory worth 100,000? So what that is, we debit inventory 100,000 and we credit cash worth 100,000. And this is the summary. That means the company have received 80,000 cash and credited 100,000 cash. So that means the cash would now have a 20,000 credit balance as the ending. Question, out of the two situation, which do you think is correct? Of course, situation number one. That means we have received 100,000 and we have given up 80,000. 
So we still have a remaining 20,000 positive cash. Uh, what about the second situation? That is a wrong situation. That means we have received 80,000 and we have given up 100,000. Take note, in reality, if we have only 80,000 in our pocket, we can only give up and up to 80,000. And in the second situation, the business have given up 100,000 out of 80,000, which is not possible. So that means what? A cash has a normal balance of debit balance. So if you can find an account not in the normal balance, that means there's something wrong. To easily remember this one, Let's have this acronym dealer. D stands for drawing or dividend. Drawing is the term used if your business is a sole proprietorship or partnership, while we use the term dividend if it is a corporation. A stands for expense. A stands for assets. L stands for liability. E stands for equity or capital. And R stands for revenue or income. So if this account that has a debit normal balance, a debit increase increases the account, while a credit entry decreases the account. Well, those accounts whose balances normal is credit, a credit entry increases the account, and a debit entry decreases the account. Now let's have a look at this example. So we have here 16 account titles. The instruction goes this way. We put an X for those accounts whose normal balances are debits. Just remember DEA, drawing expense asset. And for those accounts whose normal balances are credits, the LER, liability, equity, and revenue, we don't put an X. Number one, Jufel Tamala Capital. Capital is an equity. So the normal balance is credit. Second, depreciation expense is an expense. The normal balance is debit. Unused supplies is still an asset because of the term unused. If the term becomes used supplies, that is now an expense. But of course, they have both a debit balance. Notes receivable is an asset with a debit as normal balance. Utilities expense is an expense account with debit as normal balance. Accrued salaries expense is not an expense account because of the term accrued. When we say accrued, Accrued means expense not yet paid. In short, if you combine the term accrued with the term expense, that becomes payable. So the other term for accrued salaries expense is salaries payable. So this is a liability account. Next is prepaid insurance. This is an asset. Next is we have accumulated depreciation is a Contra asset account. When we say contra, that means it has an opposite balance as to asset account. So the normal balance for accumulated depreciation is credit. Next is we have building. Building is an asset account with debit as normal balance. Next is we have uncollectible accounts. This is an expense account with debit as normal balance. Next, we have interest expense is an expense account with debit as normal balance. Next, we have transportation equipment. This is an asset with debit as normal balance. Next, we have Jofel Tamala Drawing. This is a drawing account with debit as normal balance. Next, we have accrued interest income is not an income account because of the term accrued. Accrued income means what? Income earn but not yet collected. In short, if you combine the term accrued with the term income, 
that becomes receivable. In other words, accrued interest income is just the other term for interest receivable. So this is an asset with debit as normal balance. Cash in bank is an asset with debit as normal balance. Prepaid advertising is an asset with debit as normal balance. Thank you and God bless.